Hi, welcome back to Field Work Innovation. And what we're going to talk about today is some in the UK press recently, some really good articles about female side of the saddle injuries. Um, Hannah Dines, who I helped out and worked with, has been very public and really opening up and talking about how she had gone so far that she needed some surgery. But what I wanted to concentrate on today is rather than those, some of those hard solutions of the easy things you can do to try and check and avoid ending up at surgery, we should all avoid ending up at surgery. It's often not even the final solution. It can deal with some of the consequences of what's going to happen with um, consolidated tissue that needs removing, but it really isn't the solution. So how can you avoid that? Well, first and foremost, it's a bit, it's not all about the saddle, all right? Obviously your choice of saddle often comes with a bike that you buy it with, you might not put much thought into it, can be important, but think about the easy things about where your current saddle is in terms of its position. Is the nose ever so slightly down or up? It should never be up. Look at the rails and it, you know if, if your saddle is literally clamped here that probably tells you that the only way it can go is forward and that might be something to do to try and make it better work with you equally if it's all the way backwards not many people in my experience sit too um high so often it might be that your saddle is a little bit low not enough far forward experiment around with those things if you've got a turbo or something that you can do it statically that can be good then think about the easy things. Check the saddle itself. If you've had a saddle for a long time and all of a sudden you're getting saddle sores and you don't know why and you've been cycling for ages, check that it hasn't broken. You'll be, you'll be amazed how sometimes these bits here have to a lot of wear and break. And I see people come in with left sided saddle sore where the left side of the saddle's just collapsed. The second thing, uh, the other things you can look at is width is really important. Women need wider saddles because they have wider pelvises for childbirth. Things to notice if you're not on a wide enough saddle is potentially bouncing around in the saddle because you haven't got the support where you want it. It isn't the only factor, but it's definitely one worth checking. If you get loads of chafing at the front, it might be that you're on too wide a saddle because your legs can't move easily without getting the chafing. The last few things to think about, crank length is really important and can make a difference to saddle comfort. It's not the first thing to check, but if you're on 175 cranks and you're a relatively small person on a medium or small frame, that is a big circle to be turning and can really contribute to not being comfortable with that, sitting down on that bike. And I think last of all, shorts. Don't wear underwear with shorts. We always say that. Chamois cream can really help and try shorts on. If it feels comfortable when you put it on, trust your instinct with that. It should feel comfortable, should feel comfortable on you, just sit right, go to a shop and try them on. I think if you do any of those things, you're probably gonna help yourself not avoid getting those horrible hard-end solutions like surgery or buying nine types of saddles before you realize that maybe it's just where it is that's wrong. Hope that helps.